figure it out. Oh shit, that's a big guy. Not so fast! You wanna come pick me and kill me to provide new compensation? You again? Who's dead? Friends of yours! Stop lying! We go way back! Still in one piece. Who else made it out? I wish I knew. Sorry. Oh, it's fine. I'm just glad you survived. Gives me hope for the others. Hmm. Alright, let's go. Yes, sir, head underground. <coughs> See what's on the other side. This way, everyone! Quickly! Quickly! Listen, sector six is right over there. Was a lot closer. Hello! Is there anyone out there that needs some help? Oh god, dying. My god. Just a little more. Come on. Come on. It won't budge! Make room! Mara, you're alive! With me. Ready? Great job, guys. Thank you! <laughs> I can't tell you how relieved I am to see you. So, what now? Don't know. Find something, anything to do. 
Been back to the bar yet? No. Maybe you should go take a look? <laughs> okay. First the bar, then the rest. Careful. The roads are a mess. Watch your step or you'll wind up in a hole. Hello! Anybody out there? If you can hear me, say something! I take it that little Marlene is safe and sound? Yes, smile. Anybody out there? Hey! Hey! We're here to help! If you can hear me, shout! Can you hear me? Anyone there? Hey! Hey! <sighs> Tifa. Wedge's cat. What? Let's follow it. Ready? One, two, uh -oh. three! Is this all that's left of Wedge's place? What in the fuck? Hey! We're coming down! Stay right where you are! This place reeks of shit. Oh, there he is. How 
long it take him to build all this beneath our feet? Probably a lot. You're going down! <clears throat> One way or another! God damn. We got two pathways. I'm really good at you. 
enjoy burning it all down. Oh god damn, that's a lot of boxes. Stop on me! It's just shooting down everything. <laughs> this is my type of gameplay. Break down everything you find. Only way to do it, yes sir, yes sir. You need to go through that fan though.
holding up okay? Of course he is. He's a lot tougher than people think. Probably sleeping soundly dreaming about his gadgets. You're right. We should treat him to a nice meal. if you didn't look like shit. Thank God. Thank you. Okay, let's go. Not sure. this
Yeah. Thanks for that. 
Travel Slayer. Finally. Cloud! About time, Merc! You're up. Late to the party and you giving me orders? Oh, there he is. We need to get him somewhere safe. Everything else can wait until after. Agreed. Let's go. back for me. I'm gonna look around for the others. He made it, didn't he? They could still be alive. I saw them both at the pillar. Jesse and Biggs. Saw how bad they were hurt. I'm sorry, but... But if 
we stop now, they'll never let us live it down. <clears throat> so, we carry that weight. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. I truly am. We had no other place to go, and... I would never leave a wounded man out on the street. <sighs> Elmira. I know what you said, but you have to let us go after Aerith. Not this again. We found an underground Shinra lab, where they've done human testing. This wasn't the first time, and it won't be the last. I know these people, and I know they're never gonna let Aerith go. She's the last living ancient on the planet. Think about what that means to Shinra scientists. Especially to that son of a bitch, Hojo. We're all just numbers and meat Enough! to him. But... Please, I need some time to think. You've all had a long day. Why don't you go upstairs and get some rest? Oh, shoot. So what are we doing? Oh, it's Tifa. Can't sleep? No. You too? I heard footsteps. Sorry. Didn't mean to wake you. I'm a light sleeper. It's a soldier thing. <laughs> that flower you gave me the other night? That was from Aerith, wasn't it? I knew there was something weird going on. You buying flowers? They symbolize reunion, believe it or not. I was curious, so I looked it up. I tried to keep it alive as long as I could. But now, it's dead and buried. <sighs> like the bar. Our home, and everything else. <laughs> they took everything from us, again. Cloud. Huh? 
out. You're hurting me. Uh. <sighs> it's stupid. I know that crying's a waste of time. That's not true. Thank you. You've done more for us than we deserve. I won't forget this. If you ever need anything, all you gotta do is holler. Happy to help out, however I can. Elmira. I've been thinking about what you said. She's calling out to me. I can feel it. We all can. So please. She's our friend. We have to help her. Mm -hmm. I always knew it was coming. Knew that one day I'd have to say goodbye to my baby girl. But not yet. <clears throat> Please, bring her back to me. Hmm. Daddy! <gasps> Marlene. Are you going? <clears throat> I'm sorry, honey. I wish I didn't have to. I wish I could be with you all the time. I really do. But if I stay here, I can't fight out there. Hmm? <clears throat> Some bad people are trying to hurt the planet. And Daddy, Daddy and his friends are trying to stop those bad people. The slums, your friends, the whole planet. It's Daddy's job to protect it. Hmm? <sighs> and that's why I've got to go. You remember that nice girl who came to find you? Well, now we have to go find her. And when we bring her home, you need to say thank you, okay? Okay. That girl, she was kind of... <gasps> What? Nothing. You should help her. We will. You'll come back, right? Of course, I promise. <sighs> okay. You can go. She's tougher than me. Alright, time to get some payback. Don't forget why we're doing this. I know, I know. To rescue Aerith. Yes, sir. So, how are we supposed to get topside? With everything that's happened, the trains still aren't running. Well, we could walk along the tracks. The city's on high alert. All the roads and public transit have probably been locked down by now. So what's the plan, then? You know another way up? No, but I think I know someone who might. You mean Corneo. My fellow Grounders! Listen up! Because boy, do I have some news for you! The office must be crazy right now. So after bombing reactors 1 and 5, what do the eco-terrorists do? They go for the trifecta and take out Mako Reactor 7! Another attack by amateurs who don't care about collateral damage. The sky is falling and Avalanche is to blame. But wait! Did you know Wu Tai is the one funding their activities? For all their claims about fighting for the slums, they're nothing more than pawns of Wu Tai, puppets dancing to the tune of their foreign masters. And that's the truth. 
topside news delivered straight to your ears. That'll be five gil. Five gil, come on. Damn, man. Knew we couldn't trust Wu Tai to leave us alone. It's the reactors. They want them, we got them. Does this mean there'll what? be another war? After what they've done, what choice do we have? Five gil apiece. Cough it up. The truth ain't free, you know. <sighs> we ain't no damn pawns of Wu Tai. I couldn't care less about the rest, but that shit. <sighs> No one will listen to us. There's no point in even trying. I'm sorry. Hey. Hey, Tifa, listen. There's no room in this for regrets or what-ifs or any of that. All we can do is keep moving forward, keep following this path we chose. Wherever, so we can say we did all we could. I know. But right now, instead of looking forward, you need to look around. Everyone here is terrified. So I'm asking you, don't. Oh, I know shit. we're short on time, but let's try to help out wherever we can. They have gone. Oh, Cloud! Have you seen the kids around by any chance? I haven't seen them since they left to do their patrols. I knew I should have told them to stay inside today. If you do happen to run into them somewhere, could you tell them to come back right away? I can describe them if it'd help. Don't worry. I'll know. Just stay calm and wait here. You never know. They might come back on their own. Okay? Yes, of course. Thank you so very much. Hey, you. Cloud, right? Man, am I glad I caught you. Sam, he told me who you are. Said you're a merc and a former soldier at that. Listen, I hate to ask, but we got a few runaway birds. Mind helping us find them? Poor things were so startled by that plate coming down, they just up and bolted. I'm sure they're around here somewhere. Frightened and hungry. <sighs> My poor birds. Worried about them, huh? Alright. I think we can help you out. Oh, thank you. When you find them, feed them this. There's three missing all told. And their names are Coco, Lolo, and Momo. They'll come on home once they got some food in their bellies. Good luck. I'm counting on y'all. Hey, Cloud. Hmm. Gotta be one of them lost kids. Lost? Who said we were lost, stupid old man? What'd you say? What are you doing out here? And where's everyone else? Well, we saw a bunch of tombstones lying on the ground, so we decided to stand them back up. And then I heard laughing coming from somewhere, and when I turned around, everyone was gone. I was alone. Everyone disappeared. Heads up. No holding back. Oh, you got 
come out all this way this is where our parents are they're resting but we wanted to say hi sometimes you just want to do that you know I do thanks so much for coming to find us that's another one I owe you we're gonna head back to the house now Ms. Foley is probably pretty worried hey cloud I found this on the ground you should take it I think it might come in handy bunch of little smart asses <laughs> With good hearts. Noise. Oh, it's you, my good Merc. What brilliant timing you have. Oh, hello there. It is a pleasure to meet you both. I'm a journalist for the Daily Buzz. The Daily Buzz? You mean that trash filled with Shinra fluff pieces? Well, yes, that's fair. But we do get a lot of inside information because of our close ties with the company. <laughs> Curious? Here's the scoop. A certain division of Shinra, that shall remain nameless, was planning to seize Corneo's assets. But before they could, the key to his secret vault within which his misbegotten gains were securely tucked away was stolen. And my sources tell me that the thief is the Undercity's beloved hero, the Angel of the Slums! The unidentified bandit who's been targeting anyone with ties to Shinra or Corneo. Yes, that Angel of the Slums has struck again! 
Well, do I have your undivided attention now? Kinda, but hurry it up. We don't have time for a three-act play. Then I'll make this quick. So, my good Merc, you do remember where the Angel's hideout is, right? Do you remember the death threat she left there? Oh, that. I've decided to seek the silver lining in this case. If the Angel of the Slums deigns to take an interest in a humble reporter, then that itself would be a story. <sighs> what are you asking? If you recover the stolen key, feel free to help yourself to the contents of Corneille's vault. All I want is knowledge, the identity of the Angel. So if you happen to learn anything of value, I'd be tremendously grateful to you if you passed it along. Thanks for agreeing to find my birds. You're a real saint. Someone said they heard a chocobo walking in one of them Sector 5 back alleys. Heard there's a chocobo out by the Collapse Expressway. A chocobo was spotted near the old church. That's about all that's reached my ear. I'd bet good money those wandering birds are mine. This is bad. <sighs> oh, hey Barrett. Hey, how's it going? Could be better. I've got a good number of watchmen out looking for survivors. But as much as I'd love to join them, I've got another mess on my hands at the moment. Remember those rumors about a lab? They're true. There is one, hidden underground somewhere, and it's full of monsters. So, Cloud, think you can lend us a hand with it? It's only a matter of time before these monsters come calling. I know it's a dangerous job, but... But no one else can do it. Well, yeah. So help us out. Oh, it's a Chocobo. Tifa cured me.
I got it. <laughs> Nothing personal. You're done. Oh my fucking god, this motherfucker's surviving everything. Yes, we killed one. We got one, we got one. Fuck, of course. I need my help to you.
Damn, nice. Bro! Tifa! Damn, is it good to see you guys again? I told you to stop calling me that. Bro, I'm in serious need of your expertise. <laughs> Give me a hand. Wow. Fine. What? Truth is, I'm uh, trying to get out of town for uh, reasons. Yeah, reasons. But the thing is, <laughs> I got mugged. She took it. Took it all, man. <sighs> I tried to chase her down. I really did. But she was real fast like. Man, what am I gonna do? This could be the end for old Johnny boy. I'm begging you, help me out. Come on, bro. What'd she look like? Bro. Uh, hold on. Let me think. I wanna get this right. She was a cutie. Ah. Uh, pretty sure she was wearing a hat. I already know who. And, uh, oh yeah. She was wearing these striped stockings, too. Kyrie? Which way'd she go? Uh, toward the church, I think. You know how many allowances this one stupid... Uh, of course. Chocobo, there you are. We found you. Oh, god damn. That doesn't look good. Chocobos are so fucking adorable. Nice. Okay then, that makes three. We better check in at Sam's. No, not yet. What you doing? What? It wasn't me! You've got the wrong girl! Never committed a crime in my life! You Kyrie? Uh, Kyrie? Who's that? Can't say I know her, but cool name! <laughs> Someone mugged our friend and took every last skill he had. Sound familiar? Oh, that? <laughs> oh, I thought I was in actual trouble. Don't scare me like that. Now I remember you. You're that chick. The one who was spreading lies in Sector 5. Oh yeah, I did do that. <laughs> good times, good times. <gasps> Hold on. I know you, Blondie. You're that merc everyone's talking about. 
<sighs> Maybe my luck's not so bad. Shinra's after me. You've got to help me. So from them too, did you? No. Well, yes, sorta. Of. It's complicated. How was I supposed to know they were Shinra? And now those jerks won't leave me alone. Even though all I took was some ugly key. I mean, what's the big deal anyway? Wait a minute. That was you? <sighs> oh, great. So everyone's talking about it? <laughs> Is this the end? Am I a dead woman? Do I have to go in the run? Leave Midgar forever and, and never look back? Kyrie, please. Just give us the money you stole from our friend, would you? And the key while you're at it. No way! You're gonna split the second I do! Then who will protect me? I can't handle this on my own! <sighs> <sighs> we'll handle Shinra if you give us the key. Deal? It's a deal! Right about now, those Shinra creeps should be hanging out at the Coliseum. They're waiting for a special match to start, starring yours truly. It's the talk of the town. You're joking. Oh, I won't be there. I'm not stupid. It's a miracle you've managed to stay alive this long. I'll take that as a compliment. Now run along and clean up my mess. Fuck you, bitch. There's the champ with a heart of gold. My babies are all back home, safe and sound. Now I can finally get back to the business of business. Thanks, partner. Here, y'all learn this. It's a pass that'll get you a ride on one of my carriages whenever you need it. Free of charge, of course. Not bad, am I right? Chocobos or something else, you can ride Oh, them. that's useful. Random. What would we do without them? They're the reason a guy like me can keep a roof over his head in a town like this. And that's no lie. <laughs> I wouldn't blame you for doubting that coming from me, but it is what it is. Very nice. Do we really have to deal with Corneo again? Got no other choice. What? Did you guys get into it with him or something? I don't want to talk about it. Huh? Hey, Cloud! What happened? Don't recall. Oh, oh it's this little girl. Betty, I'm so glad to see you're okay. You too. Uh, where's Marlene? Is she okay? Don't worry. She's safe. Really? I'm so glad. Hey, can you help me with something? I'm looking for a music disc for the jukebox. I think some new music might cheer people up, make them happy. That's a wonderful idea. Okay. If we find any music discs, we'll bring them straight to you. You just promised to crank up the volume, all right? You know I will. Thanks! Oh, I guess a lot more people made it out than I thought. <sighs> There's nothing quite like kicking back and letting the music flow through you. Oh, what's that? You want to get in on my flow? Fuck it. Ooh, I like this one. It's really peaceful, don't you think? Um, is it okay if I stay and listen for a bit? This song is a favorite of mine. Sure. Oh, champ, couldn't have picked a better time. This Kyrie chick totally flaked on her match, which means we're down a fighter, and we can't exactly pit the other guy against himself. What do you say? Mind taking her spot? Yeah, man, for sure. I'll take it. Sweet! You're a real wall market hero, man. Crowd's gonna go wild when they see you. So, uh, who is she against? Oh, what the fuck is this? The hell you doing here? Where's the girl, Kyrie? That thieving little pipsqueak. Guess who he's the guy she's running from? Kyrie's not coming. He'll have to make do with us. Whatever. I can roll with it. After all, you and me, we got unfinished business. In a shocking turn of events, our next bout is now a grudge match. Which of these two will claim victory in today's Angel Cup? Fighters, B! 
begin! He really is. Our reigning champion does it again! Not only does he retain his crown, but now he can add Beast Whisperer to his list of impressive achievements! Ha! Ah, that wasn't too much trouble. Watching you guys fight gave me goosebumps! Hope your next match is even better than the last! <laughs> 